I'm joined right now with Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Uh, she's a Republican representing West Virginia in the U.S. Senate. Senator, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk a bit about economic development. Okay. So I want to touch on what was announced last month, $7.7 .7 million in funding. You and Senator Manchin announced this to help support economic and workforce development. So can we talk about that a little bit? Well, a lot of those dollars are coming down to southern West Virginia. Uh, we see that in the uh, Exit 1 Business Development Park, where uh, we hope to uh, develop that property there for uh, businesses, so that will be more workforce improvement over at Bluefield State. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, ARC grant there where um, uh, to buy robotics, mm -hmm. so that the sort of jobs of the future uh, in advanced mechanical engineering uh, or manufacturing engineering as well. So, I mean, I, a lot of the dollars that are coming are sort of to trans transition our coal miners who've lost their jobs or people who in associated industries who have had difficulties. So I'm very excited about what we see going on. I, I, feel, a, I feel a note of optimism. Yeah, and also you're very passionate and you've been a leader in the opioid crisis and right. helping to find solutions with this. Let's touch on that and your latest efforts with the opioid crisis. Sure. Uh, just about 10 days ago, I went to the White House to see President Trump sign the Support Act. The Support Act is a massive piece of legislation aimed at this exact problem, and that's the opioid epidemic and problems we're having with addiction. We, we certainly, I was down here in the Bluefield area just maybe a year and a half ago where we saw uh, a, a Narcan demonstration that our first responders are doing. So what this bill does is it looks at treatment, recovery, uh, disrupting the flow. Uh, fentanyl we know, which is lethal. Uh, people are lacing heroin and other drugs with it. Uh, we need to stop that from coming in our borders from China through our postal mm -hmm. system. So that's the STOP Act. We had 70 different pieces of legislation in this, in this big bill. Lily's Place in Huntington to help with um, drug exposed babies. Uh, also, for me, one of the big things I did in this bill uh, was to say, look, we're a small state with a high mortality rate from mm -hmm. drug overdose, but because of the way the, the monies are, are distributed, we're not really getting enough to make as big a difference as we need to make. So I was able to join with my fellow senators from New Hampshire, another small state, mm -hmm. to pinpoint some more uh, extra dollars to those places most highly affected. So do you feel like funding is part of the solution than getting the funding in the right places? Funding is definitely a part of this. I mean, we were caught flat-footed by this. Uh, the state didn't have the resources. Local communities, I know here in Mercer County, you have drug-free communities where uh, mm -hmm. the whole community from the bottom up tries to help and solve kind of, uh, these kinds of problems. And, you know, this is affecting families and communities. Our, we have more kids in foster care. We have more kids that are affected by dysfunctional. I was over at Oakville Elementary today and they were talking mm -hmm. about a lot of children being raised by their grandparents now. Yeah, yeah, and that's definitely um, yeah. a sad thing. All right, you've been in Fayette County recently, right. as of this week. Let's talk about the New River Gorge and getting that the National Park designation. You've been working toward that goal. The New River, Gorge, the New River is designated now as a national river. Yeah. And if you've been in and around that area for a while, you see the amount of tourism that that has. I think 300,000 people a day stop and visit, look at the gorge, raft, mountain climb, fish, all the things that the gorge offers that's just absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. But a national park designation, uh, the studies show that it could increase uh, tourism by about 25%. So that means, that, you know, national parks are a destination point for a lot of Americans and a lot of international uh, uh, travelers. And so to have the gorge be a national park, mm -hmm. I think would really help southern West Virginia, would really help um, certainly Fayette County and, and the gorge area, but the surrounding areas, restaurants, hotels, mm -hmm. uh, museums, all the things that people want to do when they're visiting a national park. Right, and bringing money to our area right. in southern West Virginia. Right. All right, if you had one wish for West Virginia and looking forward to the future, what would it be? What are your hopes for the Mountain State? You know, I have big hopes for the Mountain State, and that is that we start to grow our population with more younger people staying home, raising their families like my husband Charlie and I were able to do. Um, my less global hope is that every single household in this state that wants to be is connected by high speed <laughs> internet yes. because that's such a yeah. um, such a need for us. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I would say I would want West Virginia as a whole to work hard to uh, 
to um, improve our health and our health statistics and, uh, and, and, and then you know, live longer at the same time. Okay, the midterms are approaching. We're five right. days away. What will you be doing leading up to the election? Well, I've been doing some campaigning. I will be in, um, uh, in Huntington on uh, tomorrow, I guess, with President Trump. Uh, while he'll stump for Patrick Morrissey and for Carol Miller, and I will be uh, uh, cheering for them as well. Um, I have a son who's running for House of Delegates in Kanawha County, so mm -hmm. I thought I, would, I could kind of sit back and, and watch the other returns, but when you have one of your family members yeah. there, you're on pins and needles, so mm -hmm. I'll be watching the local races there. And just the national races to see who has control of the House and Senate. It's very close, and yes. I expect it to be close all the way up through in, uh, until election night. I love election night. I was raised on election <laughs> nights. <laughs> all right, Senator Capito, thank you for joining us in the WVVA studio. Great, thank you. All right, and uh -huh. we'll be right back.